Stay Dangerous trend from the 90s might be making a comeback. A renewed obsession with the ultra thin look called heroin chic is popping up on fashion runways as well as social media. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Erin LeBeau. And I'm Shirley Chan in for Tamsin tonight. The heroin chic look was popular back in the 90s, characterized by a thin frame. It was seen most often in Calvin Klein ads. Remember these? Yeah. Kittens? Sure did. Now, in the past decade or so, there have been a bigger focus on body positivity, but it seems like the slimmed down look is coming back, and that could be dangerous. So, joining us now to talk about this is psychiatrist Dr. Yalda Safai. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so, doctor, talk a little bit about when you first saw this look kind of coming back. What was your first thought? Yes, the 1990s look characterized by in uh, thin frame, bags under the eyes, um, pale skin. All of these are traits that we see common in heroin users. So any trend that has the word heroin in it should be cause mm. for concern. Right. You know, it's this is particularly concerning for women um, around the age of 15. Anorexia nervosa is more commonly seen in that group. The highest incidence rate is around that age group. In addition, anorexia carries with it the highest mortality rate out of all mental illnesses. So my concern really is for that adolescent age group. They're so impressionable at that age. They're still trying to figure out their sense of identity and their position in the world. So they're very, very easily influenced by anything they're exposed to. So really my concern is for that age group. Right. Yeah. So, so this was the beauty standard for women who grew up in the 90s. You mentioned when they were teenagers. So to them, it may feel like this look really never went away. But how do you get someone to focus instead on, on being healthy instead of looking thin? Okay, I think it's important to note here that the media serves as a manual on how to look beautiful. And the media or um, the fashion industry wouldn't be able to capitalize on this if we didn't, as a society, battle with image issues. So I think this is a bigger issue and it needs to be tackled from a very young age. It's very important for parents never to put much emphasis on their kids' look and appearance and weight. As long as the kid is healthy, no matter if they're thin or a little bit on the heavier side what we need to emphasize from when they're young is that the it, it's important to be healthy not thin not particularly thin let's talk a little bit more about weight we see it all the time actors influencers people on social media congratulating each other on losing weight but what type of impact does this have on followers especially if you don't know how they went about losing the weight of course, well, listen, we shouldn't demonize losing weight as a whole because, you know, obesity is also an epidemic in this country. If we're seeing somebody who's truly battling with being overweight and is trying hard to lose weight to be, in order to be healthier, we should congratulate that person. It, it's only a concern when someone who's already thin it goes on social media and talks about losing weight and all their friends and other influencers start congratulating them. That's when it's a re real issue. But as a whole, we shouldn't demonize losing weight because we you know there's a lot of people who are battling with um, losing weight because they're overweight and just want to be healthier yeah there is one actress though who is trying to fight back against this trend Jamila Jamil is her name she wrote on Instagram uh, yeah. in part let's take a look here I am of the generation of the first wave of this we never fully recovered she went on to say we worked so hard and made so much progress and we are not being dragged back do you think public figures need to be better at sending positive messages like Jamila here 100%. what could they do Yes, 100%. Most of our youth and adolescents get their information, get their news from social media. In fact, one in four TikTok users is under the age of 20. So it's very important for these people with influence who have a large following to speak out against these trends, to speak out and say, hey, this is unhealthy, in order for our younger person, the younger individuals to hear. So the people in power with a lot of influence, it's really important at this time for them to speak up. This is not the time to remain silent. So, doctor, you mentioned a a lot of younger people are on social media, one in four under the age of 20. But do you yeah. think an emphasis on being thin will really resonate with the culture now? That is more impressionable because of social media and influencers, but those that are um, more focused on body enhancement rather than being ultra thin. 
either way if we're constantly looking to mutilate our appearance because we think it's not meeting the standard definition of beauty that is problematic whether you're trying to enhance or lose weight so really every single person needs to figure out why is it that they want to change their appearance is it because there's a new trend on the market trends change yes. and as long as you're healthy that's what's important yeah, that's such an important message here. As long as you're healthy, that is what's most important. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Safai, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, for more information on this topic or to connect with Dr. Safai, you can go to her website, yaldasafaimd.com, or follow her on Instagram at yaldasafaimd.com.